On this day in 1955, Roy Bryant and his half-brother J.W. Millen were acquitted of Emmett Till's murder. The heinous killing of 14-year-old Till and the decision of his grieving mother to hold an open casket viewing would be the big bang of the civil rights movement. The images of young Till, unrecognizable after being maimed by the men, reverberated across the country. While the death of Till is perhaps representative of the violence America has levied against its black citizens, the trial of the perpetrators Bryant and Millam was requiem of a system and accompanying power structure that has allowed it to continue for generations. Till's great uncle Moses Wright testified to the guilt of Brian and Millam. So did two sharecroppers who overheard the ordeal. The account given by Wright was the first time that a black man had testified to the guilt of a white man in the state of Mississippi. When the men were indicted, at least five attorneys offered to defend them pro bono. In his closing argument, the defense attorney, Sidney Carlton, told the all-white male jury that should they not set Brian and Millam free, their, quote, ancestors will turn over in their graves, and I'm sure every last Anglo-Saxon one of you has the courage to free these men. From start to finish, the trial lasted just five days, and in the end, the jury only deliberated for 67 minutes. Let that sink in. The jury only deliberated the verdict of this case for about an hour. Reporters even recall laughter erupting from the jury room. And a jury was infamously quoted saying that they would have been, would, wouldn't have taken that long had they not stopped for a soda. Afterwards, they would return a decision of not guilty. History recalls that when the verdict was read, the two men who murdered a teenager lit celebratory cigars and kissed their wives. The trial of Emmett Till's murderers was proxy for white America blatantly staring at and spitting into the face of the nation's justice system. Despite its tragic nature, the incident would uh, inspire thousands of black people to take a stand. At a Montgomery rally, Rosa Parks cited Till's murder as a reason she famously refused to give up her seat. So today, we remember Emmett Till, the pre-civil rights era and the period of terror black people had to navigate in this country. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime, and good night.